quite a greenhouse you have here. Yeah, well, it's all a bit like the African jungle, isn't it? But <laughs> it's all stuff that you can eat, which is good. What are you growing in here? Looks like everything. Well, we've got all sorts of stuff, cabbages and tomatoes, silver beet, just about everything you can name. Anything that grows above the ground that's edible, we can grow. Now, the question is, where's the soil? It's all well, rocks. <laughs> How does it work? I, I guess you could call it soil of a sort, but it's pretty rough old soil. It's um, actually gravel, uh, 20 millimetre or three quarter inch gravel, and uh, we grow all our stuff in gravel. How do you grow food in gravel? Well, it's a good question. It's really um, about distributing nutrients by using water as the carriage point, and uh, it gets up into the gravel, and the plants use it up just like they would in a regular garden, actually. But you, you can grow all this food without any soil at all? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. As you can see, it's growing extremely well. And in fact, it grows probably better than most gardens because we're always delivering water and we're always delivering nutrient to the plants. Mm. So they're very happy. You better show me how it works. What's your, what's your magic formula? Water and, uh, water and fish. Fish and plants. It just all works together so very, very well. OK, show me how. Show me. OK. All right, well, we've got a fish tank here. Let's have a look at this fish tank and we'll see the fish in here. These are sleepy cod. They look sleepy. Yeah, they just, that's what they do, they lie around all day. You might think they're dead, but they're not. Um, these are from North Queensland. They're a, an Australian native fish, although there are species that are similar up through Malaysia and that. Mm -hmm. But these are a great fish. They're reputedly the best eating of all freshwater fish, so I'm told. They all taste good to me, I should say. Um, and what happens is the fish do their business in the water, as they do. Right. And the water is pumped through the, through the gravel grow beds. And by naturally occurring bacteria that, that's everywhere, um, it converts that fish waste into plant nutrients. Mm -hmm. The plants use that up and the water is returned clean for the fish. So it starts here. The fish do their business and it circulates through the plants and gets filtered back as clean water. Clean for the fish. It's, it's filtered. Absolutely, totally filtered. So the fish are living in a wonderful environment and um, we're blessed in Australia. We have some marvellous Australian native species that really adapt very well to tank culture because the way they've evolved, they've evolved in streams and and billabongs, you know, they're used to living in those kind of spaces. Mm -hmm. So they think they're in heaven here. They've just got everything supplied, food, lovely clean water all the time, and a safe place to live. So Isn't that great? It seems perfect, but food grown from fish poo, should we be worried about that? No, not at all, because <laughs> if, if I was to put some uh, chook manure in my veggie garden, you'd think yeah. that was good. Yep. So it's the same thing. The plants use up that stuff really, really well. And remember the naturally occurring what I have to stress is that this is an ecosystem. Mm. It's an ecosystem garden, and we utilise all the wonderful things in nature, you know, the bacteria, the fungi, all that sort of stuff, sets up and grows in our gravel grow beds yeah. and gives the plants the perfect nutrient that they need. That water that we can hear pouring out into the tank, what is that? That's water returning from the gravel grow bed. Right. These gravel grow beds have an auto siphon device in them. When the, um, the bed fills with water, uh, the auto siphon trips, drains the water back into the fish tank, so the beds are always filling and draining, filling and draining all the time. But are you having to use a lot of water because it looks like you are? No, actually that's one of the magic things about aquaponics, particularly for Australia, is that we don't waste any water. The water is recirculating, so the only water that is lost is that which is used by the plants, you know, transpired and actually in the plant growth. So we actually don't waste any water at all. So it's one giant cycle, it's yeah. the same water going round and yep. round. Um, there's a researcher, an Australian researcher, Dr Wilson Leonard, who tells us that we only use 10% of the water that you would need to grow the same plants in a regular garden. And that's because we're not losing any to the subsoil, because normally in a regular garden, the water will soak through and off it goes. And when it soaks through and off it goes, it actually takes with it the nutrients. Mm -hmm. So we don't have the nutrient loss either in these beds, and that's why our plants grow so well. So fish business is as good as chook manure? Oh, I reckon it's probably better. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> you wait till we see those ads, you know because I'm worth it. <laughs> then you'll know that it's really good. <laughs>